One, two, three. What's up guys? I'm Josh, one of the coaches here at Par for Success. You might've heard me counting one, two, three during my swing there. What was I doing? We'll talk about that in a second. But what I wanted to talk about was this fancy equipment that we've got here. It's just called a force, dual force plate. So what it does is it measures the amount of force that I'm putting down into the ground in three dimensions. It goes left and right, up and down, and then torsional forces or toe to heel forces. So this is really sophisticated, but it, it'll really give us a lot of information as to what exactly you're doing pushing against the ground. And when you're seeing the longest pe the people that hit the ball really, really far, if you want to hit the ball further, you need to be able to use the ground. You may have heard people talking about that, using the ground. What does that really mean? It means being able to push your feet down into the ground to create force that comes up and generates through the club head. So a couple of things we need before that. We need to have good mobility. You need to be able to rotate so you can get into the good positions in your swing. You need enough strength to be able to hold on to the club, create some arm speed, and like I said, push through the ground. So you need to be, have some level of strength, but at some point it comes down to being able to generate force in the floor in the right order or the right sequence. So I'm gonna show you a really good drill today that's going to help you learn how to use what we call toe heel forces in your lead foot, okay, or your lead side. So the toe heel forces would happen in the transition. What we found through our research on these plates is that the people that swing it the fastest in the world are reaching a peak down force into the ground in their lead leg very early in the downswing. So they would be peaking out their down force in this leg, pushing through the ground, just as they're kind of starting the downswing. And you see how I'm pushing that leg through the ground and that pulls the club into this position for a really powerful strike. Conversely, what we find with people that swing the club a lot slower, say 80, 85, 90 miles an hour, rather than 120, 130, 140, sometimes even 150 miles an hour, is the slower swingers reach peak down force, usually at or after impact, they're pushing on that leg. So there's not a lot of shift, it's a lot of arm movement. And then at the very end of the swing, they kind of get onto that left side. So it's almost like a false finish, like they're post posting up on that left side, but it's not, it's not really powerful. Here's the drill that you can do to help you fix that. You can use a club or not. Okay. You can put it across your chest and shoulders from here. All you're going to do is make a turn. When you turn, you should feel pressure build in your trail heel. Okay. That's one first count. Number two, when I count out two, I'm going to feel that little bump from my trail heel to my lead big toe. So I'm thinking like I'm gonna to start to put a crease in that big toe of my shoe there, that's two. Three is me pushing this heel, my lead heel, through the ground to almost, boom, open me up this way, okay? So in slow motion, it's one, two, three. That's the heel pressure. So it's heel pressure in the tray, heel one, transition two, three, explode through that lead leg down through the ground to open that hip up. So getting that sequence of events, one, two, three, is really, really, really important. And you can see if I come down the line here and I'm swinging towards the camera, you can see my lead heel, it's gonna lift off. One, two, plant the heel, push into the toe, and three, drive that, that leg through the floor, and you're almost pushing that hip backwards. That's gonna help drive the club down into the slot, and that sequence is what's gonna give you a really, really powerful swing. It's gonna help you increase your club head speed, hit the ball a lot further. So that's a swing heel pressure drill. You can give that sequence a try. I know it's gonna help you hit the ball further. Hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.